telling you something about me and why I believe so strongly in the Democratic Party. My heroes, pretty simple heroes, wonderful human beings who made a tremendous impact on me one night when I'm watching black and white TV and the results haven't come in in the primary. And that's John F. Kennedy. My parents love John F. Kennedy. I love John F. Kennedy. I love every Kennedy that there is. Martin Luther King, another hero to me because of what he stood for and the way he did what he did. I also have baseball heroes, Jackie Robinson, Roberto Clemente. Those people did something that we would all love to be able to do to make the big difference in life, to work hard and help other people even though they're being targeted. And they were targeted. Those people that I've talked about, my heroes, were targeted. And they came through with flying colors for each one of us. They thought of a better America. They thought of us all being together and working together to make this world a better place for all of us. Not just Democrats, but Republicans, Independents, and others. They cared. And they worked hard to make us believe that this was the great greatest country in the world, which it is. And we need to continue that. We need to act like they act. We need to show compassion. We need to show justice. We need to quit the dialogue of hate, which the Republican Party has used against us for many years. We as Democrats are much better than that. We always have been better than that. We can talk about the issues and not be afraid to say what we feel. That the democratic agenda is for working men and women, for education, for health care, helping the seniors who brought us up to make sure they're comforted in their years of retirement and bad health. And a lot of seniors now have bad health and they need help. And we've ignored that. We have a problem with substance abuse, not only in this state, but in this country. And one of your biggest fighters to help try to figure out an answer to substance abuse is a gentleman sitting right over here, Mr. Benny Donajo, who for years, years, has been coming to the legislature and asking us to give money to start some substance abuse programs in this state. And we finally got a substance abuse program and building that's going to be starting in Los Lunas, in about a year, the first of its kind will be built. So, Benny, thank you for what you did. And by the way, he wouldn't let the governor off the hook. One night, the governor was at a meeting that I was at, and Benny was there, and he kept asking the governor until the governor finally had to respond to his questions. So it's really important. Let me close with this, because, I, by the way, I think we should support all of our candidates. You have some of the best candidates here for lieutenant governor. I, I know them all very well. Linda Lopez is great. Jerry Ortiz Pino is great. I don't know the sheriff as well, but I know his reputation. It's a wonderful reputation. He works hard in Santa Fe County. Great candidates. All I ask you to do is after the primaries are over, forget who the opponent was and work toward that common goal. Work toward electing Democrats. Work toward the theory that Obama has, that when we do it together, we can really win. They can't beat us if we work together. If they divide us, they can. And they really have, in the past, divided us and conquered. But let me close with this. I am very proud to have been a part of this last year's election. Obama reinvigorated all of us with his message of hope. He really did. But I'm proud that we elected Steve Fishman out of Las Cruces. I'm proud that we elected John Sapien out of Sandoval County. I'm proud that we elected Tim Eichenberg and took those away from the Republicans. And I will tell you, the importance of this next election is redistricting. And everybody has to remember that. The Senate is then in there, and we're going to be redistricting. But the House of Representatives, you need to help the members of the House of Representatives because redistricting is really one of the most important things that we will have on our plate the next three or four years. The only disappointment, and it really was a disappointment to me personally, 
is Victor Ragosa's defeat in the North Valley. And I've got to tell you, there is one man that worked as hard as anybody I've ever seen to win an election, and he should have won that election. And Victor, thank you for the way you won the campaign. So we've done some, some good things. We tried to help those people running, those Democrats running for the different offices. But we've also done some good things in the New Mexico State Senate as well. The repeal of the death penalty, very important to a lot of people. The fact that we didn't have to, at this point in time, cut any jobs, didn't have to cut jobs. We kept the state running without going into the red and constitutionally we're required not to do that. But I will tell you, the disappointment, there is a disappointment in the legislature and it is a big disappointment to me. For years now, we've been trying to get the domestic partner bill passed. And because of the influence of other parties, we just haven't been able to get it passed. I give you my word that we will continue to work to get that bill passed as hard as we can. I think people misunderstand what the bill is and what it does, but it's time to educate those people. There should be no discrimination against anyone based on sex, gender, or sexual orientation under any set of circumstances. <laughs> Once again, thank you very much for having me here. I, I really appreciate the invitation. And if you have some questions, I'll try to answer them as best I can.